Eric Demetri Dickerson was born on September 2nd, 1960, is an American former football running back who played in the National Football League, NFL, for 11 seasons. Dickerson played college football for the Mustangs of Southern Methodist University and was recognized as an All-American. He was selected in the first round of the 1983 NFL Draft and played professionally for the Los Angeles Rams, Indianapolis Colts, Los Angeles Raiders, and Atlanta Falcons of the NFL. During his NFL career, he rushed for over 13,000 yards. He holds the NFL single-season rushing record with 2,105 yards, set in 1984. Dickerson was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1999 and, in 2019, was named to the NFL 100th Anniversary All-Time Team. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest running backs of all time. He wore prescription goggles throughout his career due to myopia. Dickerson committed to Texas A&M before reconsidering and deciding amongst Oklahoma, Southern California, and Southern Methodist University, SMU. His great-great aunt talked him into staying in the state of Texas to attend Southern Methodist University because she liked SMU coach Ron Meyer. Dickerson was the subject of recruiting controversy when he started driving a new Pontiac Trans AM during his senior year of high school. According to myth, Dickerson began driving the vehicle about the same time he committed to A&M, and when he signed with SMU, he purportedly stopped driving the vehicle because it had been destroyed by a vengeful Aggie. Ron Meyer famously called the car, the Trans A&M. At the time, he said his grandmother from Mexico had purchased it for him. Dickerson still refuses to answer on whether or not he accepted anything to attend SMU, saying, even if I did take something, I still wouldn't tell. Dickerson later admitted in 2022 that the Trans A&M had been purchased by a family member, who was then reimbursed by A&M Boosters in an attempt to hide any improprieties, and that he had later sold the car to an SMU teammate. Initially, Dickerson shared carries with Craig James and Charles Wagoner, all three blue-chip recruits in 1979. Wagoner was hurt returning a kickoff their freshman season, leaving Dickerson and James to lead SMU's running attack. Called the Pony Express Dickerson gained 4,450 yards on 790 carries to break Earl Campbell's Southwest Conference record for yards and attempts. His 48 career touchdowns tied Doak Walker's SMU total for career scoring. In his senior year, despite splitting time with James, Dickerson finished third in the Heisman Trophy voting, behind Herschel Walker and John Elway. He was also a first-team All-American in 1982 and a second-team All-American in 1981. Eric Dickerson stands tall at 6 feet 3 inches, 1.91 meters, and weighs 220 pounds, 100 kilograms. His remarkable height and athleticism contributed to his success on the football field. About Eric Dickerson personal life. Eric Dickerson has been married twice. His personal life includes raising multiple children. One of his children, Carrie Dickerson, has found success in a different public-facing career. Eric and his wife, Penny Sutton, share a beautiful family. They are blessed with two children, Carrie Dickerson, born in 2005, and Dallas Dickerson, born in 2012. Eric Dickerson's life extends beyond the football field, and his family plays an essential role in shaping his legacy. Beyond the gridiron, Dickerson has been involved in various philanthropic endeavors. While specific details about his philanthropy are not widely publicized, many former players and sports figures contribute to charitable causes. Dickerson's impact extends beyond the field, and his legacy continues to inspire generations of football fans. Eric Dickerson's journey from Texas high school star to NFL record breaker is a remarkable tale of perseverance, skill, and dedication. His contributions to the game and his community make him a true legend in the world of football. About Eric Dickerson's professional career. Before the 1983 NFL Draft, the Houston Oilers said they would draft Dickerson second if they did not make a trade. Dickerson's family opposed him playing for the Oilers, although Dickerson himself was merely cool about doing so, while, like John Elway Dickerson would have flatly refused to play for the Baltimore Colts had they drafted him. A trade with the Oilers saw the Los Angeles Rams acquire the second pick, which they used to draft Dickerson. 
Although he considered going to the Los Angeles Express in the United States Football League, Dickerson ultimately decided to play for the Rams. An immediate success, he established rookie records for most rushing attempts, 390, most rushing yards gained, 1,808, and most touchdowns rushing, 18, including another two receiving touchdowns. His efforts earned him All-Pro, Pro Bowl, Player of the Year, and Rookie of the Year honors. The 1985 season marked the beginning of ongoing contract disputes between Dickerson and the Rams. In 1987, after playing just three games for the Rams during the strike-shortened 1987 season, Dickerson was traded to the Indianapolis Colts in one of the NFL's biggest trades ever at that time. In a three-team deal, the Colts traded linebacker Cornelius Bennett, whom they drafted but were unable to sign to a contract, to the Buffalo Bills for their first-round pick in 1988, first- and second-round picks in 1989, and running back Greg Bell. The Colts in turn traded Bell and the three draft choices from Buffalo plus their own first- and second-round picks in 1988, their second-round pick in 1989, and running back Owen Gill to the Rams for Dickerson. With the picks the Rams took running back Gaston Green, wide receiver Aaron Cox, linebacker Fred Strickland, running back Cleveland Gary, linebacker Frank Stams, and defensive back Daryl Henley. The trade reunited Dickerson with Ron Meyer, who had left SMU after Dickerson's junior season to take the head coaching position in New England and who was hired by the Colts in 1986 following Rod Dower's firing. Although he played in just nine games with the Colts that year, he still managed to gain 1,011 yards to finish the season with 1,288. Also, he spearheaded a late-season Colts run that helped the team to their first winning season and first playoff berth in 10 years. On April 26, 1992, Dickerson was traded by the Colts to the Los Angeles Raiders for their fourth and eighth round picks in the 1992 draft. There were occasional flashes of greatness, 107 yards against the Broncos, 103 against the Chargers, where he recorded his 63rd and 64th career 100-yard games, but those would be his last. Dickerson also scored on a 40-yard touchdown run, reminiscent of his prime, in front of a nationally televised Monday night audience in a game against Kansas City. That year, he led the team in rushing attempts and yards. However, he suffered from splitting carries with Marcus Allen by having the latter finish the second half. The following season, Dickerson was traded to the Atlanta Falcons on July 7, 1993, for a sixth-round draft pick. He played in a backup role, making his final national televised appearance during the Monday night football game on September 27, 1993, when the Falcons hosted the Pittsburgh Steelers in a losing effort. The Falcons traded Dickerson and third-year cornerback Bruce Pickens to the Green Bay Packers for running back John Stevens on October 13, 1993. Along with Melissa Stark, Dickerson served as a sideline reporter on Monday night football broadcasts for ABC during the 2000 and 2001 NFL seasons. During the 2007 football season and 2016 football season, Dickerson worked as a broadcaster for KCBS Television in Los Angeles, providing commentary for NFL pregame and postgame shows. He started a sports memorabilia company called Original Mini Jerseys with former Los Angeles Rams teammate Leroy Irvin. The company received their NFL license in 2006 and sells authentic miniature replica jerseys. He also owns an internet-based sporting goods company, eChamps. Dickerson made a cameo appearance in the television series Hawaii 5-0 in 2014. In August 2016, he began hosting a two-hour Monday afternoon program on Los Angeles sports talk station Clack. In 2017, he competed in the reality television game show The New Celebrity Apprentice. He was the third contestant terminated by host Arnold Schwarzenegger. In 2019, Dickerson played a role as LAFD Chief Brinkle in the TV series SWAT. In 2017, he joined Fox Sports FS1 as an NFL analyst. In 2023, Dickerson attended the fifth dinner service in Hell's Kitchen's 22nd season. About Eric Dickerson House Eric Dickerson, the former professional running back in the National Football League, NFL, has made his home in Calabasas, California. 
This accomplished athlete played for several teams during his career, including the Los Angeles Rams, Indianapolis Colts, Los Angeles Raiders, and Atlanta Falcons. His impressive achievements on the field have left a lasting legacy. If you're curious about the man behind the helmet, let's take a trip back to 1986. Fred Rogan invites us into Eric Dickerson's home for an edition of Lifestyles of the Rams Most Famous. It's a glimpse into the life of a football legend, where the echoes of cheers and touchdowns still resonate. So, if you ever find yourself in Calabasas, imagine standing in the presence of greatness, the house that sheltered a running back who raced through history, leaving a trail of records and memories in his wake. Eric Dickerson boasts an estimated net worth of around $12 million. Thanks so much for watching our video. Please like, share to your friends, and also subscribe to our channel.